Hi everyone, I'm Margit Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from KV Ukraine. And in today's video, we're going to talk about some accessory trends for the spring 2023 and also for the summer, obviously, because as I've mentioned previously on this channel, there's always a link between summer and spring fashion. It's always somewhere, somewhere in between. So something that's popular for spring, it's going to be still popular for summer, even for the first part of autumn, because it's all like this transitional period of warmth and sun and beauty and freshness and everything that's amazing in this world and as you can clearly see i'm very excited about spring and summer specifically because i love the awakening of the nature that's happening around us the sunny days the prolonged uh, sun outside, the opportunity to kind of peel off just a little bit of all those crazy warm layers we've been wearing all this time. And I love accessories specifically and accessory trends specifically because accessories have this amazing opportunity to change your look and you don't have to have a lot of them but they can change like a basic look completely so you could be wearing like jeans and a t-shirt and a blazer but then you have a crazy accessory and heels and this is an evening look and then you switch them to sneakers and a shopper bag and this is your everyday look or like a coffee date look so i feel like accessories are very powerful and first of all it's an amazing opportunity for people to kind of not waste that much money on stuff but still being able to kind of switch up your looks even though you have like limited resources and finances for this specific purpose so without further ado let's get into this whole video I'm gonna be talking about some details. So not only accessories per se, as we know them, but also some details to different looks that kind of make or break them. I mean hoods. So hoods for your tops, for your dresses. Hooded dresses and hooded tops are so, so, so popular for the spring and summer. And one brand I'd like to highlight and I have an opportunity and I feel very like amazed by the fact that this is a Ukrainian brand. This is a brand called Bevza and actually this is a brand I'm pretty sure a lot of you know about or at least kind of heard about at some point or another. This is a beautiful, authentic Ukrainian brand created in Ukraine at least like 15 years ago. It has a huge history and it's always their style is always somehow kind of rooted in Ukrainian background, rustic details and symbols and etc. etc. But it's always represented in such a contemporary and beautiful sophisticated way and i can't say enough good words about this brand i love their stuff i have a lot of their stuff in my closet in my clients closets the quality is amazing and they have this super cool mini kind of semi sheer dress with a hood that was also worn by a girl from a korean band called Blackpink, if you know that one. I feel like that one was such a beautiful statement of a look. And I love those kinds of dresses that kind of look understated, yet have this kind of a structure or a detail element that create this whole vibe. And this is this kind of a dress. But also we need to mention YSL dresses and their hooded maxi dresses and tops. And this is such a beautiful ode to the Dune movie, which I feel like it's not specified enough how much of an influence this movie had on the fashion world even before it was released because a lot of like images and styling was even leaked before that. And uh, as you know, probably if you don't know, each and every year I do a webinar, an online huge webinar for our event where I present basically all the trends and all the silhouettes, styling tips and all the new design ideas and patterns and fashionable items and things that go out of style, which is called a trend book. And I did a trend book 2023 this year in January and I do this every year. So come back 
next like November when we start our enrollment for that trend book. And I feel like this is such a good event for people to participate in, to know about what's coming, what's going to be trending in the next year and to kind of become pioneers in terms of trending styles because you can implement it yourself first. And also if you're a stylist, if you work with clients, this is going to be an amazing opportunity for you to kind of include these things in their wardrobes even before everyone's talking about them even before everything's like super top trending so backing up a little bit in this whole trend book 2023 the thing i featured a lot was a very like prominent trend which is futurism but not necessarily the kind of futurism you would think about when you're thinking about futurism not like star wars style futurism more so a contemporary view of somehow a mix of futurism, rustic details, and some tribal notes. And what I mean by that is definitely Dune movie because there's a lot of like rustic and historic details that are implemented in those costumes. But also since then, there were so many movies released about those about this kind of mix of futurism and rustic and tribal details. And specifically, I'm talking about uh, Wakanda Forever, which was an amazing movie to be inspired by the costumes. And I feel like it also, I'm pretty sure it won an Oscar for their costumes. Second time in a row, I'm pretty sure they did that because their costumes are amazing and they represent a beautiful mix of something that's very like unknown and crazy and futuristic but also in a mix with something that's very true to people that were staring there to the idea of the movie and also to some tribal notes that were implemented in the movie which i feel like was an amazing cocktail of ideas in there so backing up a little bit again i feel like hoods this is not the first time we see hoods being implemented in your clothing not like attached to it and not like attached to a sporty clothing but hoods being a part of your costume which is more like romantic or classic that's definitely been there done that but i feel like in this way more scaled down paired back understated i feel like it looks so sophisticated and beautiful and i definitely urge you to try that one the next trend we're going to talk about are tights and specifically not necessarily only tights but also high stockings and lace stockings so everything lace is specifically this year very popular it's gonna look so amazing and beautiful when i think about lace the last period i think about it being trendy it was like 2012 ish so now it has its comeback and i feel like it looks so modern and beautiful and i love specifically Alessandra Rich's styling of these kinds of stockings. So the last show that she did, that the brand did, they implemented their usual like 80s inspired feminine mini dresses with those chunky lace hyper long stockings with a heel and it looks so sexy so balanced so contemporary so beautiful if you're not into like the whole total romantic vibe of a look i definitely feel like you can go in like a more dramatic direction for example get your lace stockings but then get like a um mini skirt a leather mini skirt a denim mini skirt and then get like a boot a 90s inspired boot and they get something that's very oversized up top maybe something very casual like a t-shirt and then a an oversized blazer and then you'll have like a very trendy detail but your look is still gonna look very like you very much something that you represent and not something that's totally trendy and only trendy so this is basically a way to make this look 
like you and not like something that's out of a runway. And lace is such an intricate detail and texture that brings such a depth to a look because it's on your legs. Your legs have their specific shape and length in your body. So they take up a lot of, if you know what I mean, like space in your whole outfit so they can make or break a look. So obviously don't go overboard if this is your first time trying a lace stocking or a lace tight because obviously there's so much to them they can totally overpower everything you're wearing so start with something pretty casual and go from there obviously everything heart shaped is so 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 popular this season actually this whole year round you can buy something or like purchase something in the vintage store in the thrift store something that's heart shaped that's going to look so so beautiful Obviously chokers, they're absolutely everywhere. I necessarily wouldn't go for chokers because there's so, so many of them. There's like an overwhelming amount of hard chokers that I've been seeing, especially in social media lately. So I would be smart and I would get this hard detail and put it onto something that's kind of unexpected, like a heart shaped fancy watch or a heart shaped buckle on your belt or a heart print on something that's unexpected like a bag or there was like a, a lot of seasons ago there was this Prada skirt collection with hearts and lipsticks which I absolutely love and I feel like it's gonna look so understated and classy and beautiful and not necessarily like too girly fancy in this kind of a vibe so I feel like even though a heart shape can definitely be interpreted as something very girly and like clueless I feel like it can still work in your favor even if you're a minimalist even if you're someone who's very classy in their style and their approach to style just think of a shape and then work something around it I totally remember this beautiful I feel like that was a faux fur YSL coat it was a red one it was so cool it made such a beautiful statement and it was not girly at all even though it's really unexpected because the heart is there and everything's there and the color and the texture but it looked so architectural and beautiful especially if you'd pair it with something unexpected like a super oversized jean balenciaga style but obviously you could buy it anywhere and you can make it yourself I feel like hearts are underestimated in terms of what they can do to an outfit in terms of your architecture of the outfit. So always make sure to think out of a box, even if you're looking at something very simplistic and very something very one dimensional, like a heart shape, it can always play into your style. And the last thing I'm going to mention is obviously I feel like this was very predictable, but this year pockets are absolutely everywhere and the more pockets you have, the better. So I'd say a lot of pockets on your skirts, on your cargo skirts, on your cargo pants, cargo shirts, pockets on your shirts and your tops and blouses, and also on your jackets and blazers and your outerwear. But also if you're not that much into putting something that close to your face, in your portrait zone and kind of if you're not into risking this whole look of yours I'd suggest going into the low-key mode and going for a bag with pockets like a Miu Miu one but also there's so many of them on the high street and the mass market everywhere absolutely so you don't necessarily have to invest everything you have in your bank into this kind of a bag especially if you're not really sure this is your style but I feel like pockets kind of create a beautiful shape and interest and depth to a very basic thing for example you can have a basic t-shirt but when you add some pockets to this t-shirt it kind of looks more finished and this goes for everything that has more pockets a simple cargo skirt no pockets a cargo skirt with pockets a simple cargo pant no pockets and then with pockets a top with pockets a blazer with pockets it's gonna look so beautiful but also it's just a structural shape it's not like that 
crazy. It's not gonna overwhelm your look. So I feel like it's gonna work for absolutely each and every person's wardrobe. So this is it for this video. And let me know in the comments below which details you are into this season, which are absolutely not you, not even 1%. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.